Good morning everyone and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a really, really, really early morning. Damn it, it's too early. Oh, this is gonna be a vloggity vlog style video because today we are going on a road trip, but we're not going on a road trip with Danny, unfortunately. I am going to leave him at the showroom and we're gonna get me and my colleagues in a car and we are going to head straight for Athens. Today, Bucharest to Athens in one day, 1200 kilometers by car. I know it's not by motorcycle, but we will be riding motorcycles in Athens. At least that's the plan at the moment. Now, the reason we're making this trip is so this is an annual thing for the people at Sim. We get together with uh, the importer from Greece, which is the biggest importer in Southeastern Europe for Sim products and Daytona products. And basically we talk business or rather my bosses talk business. I'm basically just along for the ride and to have fun on bikes over there. Haven't ridden through Athens. Haven't been to Athens in I think 20 years. And after that, we're also going to go to a city called Trikala. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I may have mispronounced it. I know I have a lot of people watching from Greece. I'm sorry if I butcher your names, the names of the cities. I'll pronounce them as I can. But for now, let's get to the office and let's get all packed up and on the road. Come on, let's go road trip time. like that we are in Athens this is the hotel where we will be staying but today has been a very very long day it's been about 1200 kilometers about 15 16 hours I've lost count we, we started off in the night time we ended in the night time we just went to eat something and uh, tomorrow I am gonna get myself onto wheels and ride through Athens we have for the people following me from Greece and who are into motorcycles and into Sim and Daytona products, there's gonna be a bit of a special treat who's going to give us a bit of a guided tour around Athens tomorrow. But for now, it's been a long day. I can't wait for tomorrow to get on two wheels because honestly, you guys here are absolutely bonkers in the way that you ride, honestly. You guys ride like absolute lunatics around here and I can hardly wait to join you on these roads. But the day is over and I can't wait for tomorrow to get started. Here we are, we are in Athens. We are in the Sim Daytona showroom in Athens. Over here we have Mr. Aris Gorgolis who's going to be our tour guide for the day. He's gonna show us around and he's gonna hook us up with a couple of scooters to ride around Athens for the day. It's gonna be a really fun day. Hehehe <laughs> 
We're in Athens guys on an ST200 Donny Jr. So we have a Crucim, a GTS, a Zontes M310 and the Jet X. You know I was a bit sad because I didn't ride my ST200 here but well dreams do come true. So this one has a full tank of gas, 1500 kilometers, ST200, ABS and everything, 2001 ST200. And now we're gonna go visit the service department but it's a Sunday so it's probably gonna be closed riding in Athens <laughs> it's gonna be fun because we're stopping uh... yeah all right let's see where he takes us I think the service should be over there Okay, oh, there's the service over there. <laughs> Winning Greece. And that's the service. With a spare part area for daily needs of Athens. So it has to stop. For uh, consumer goods, maybe uh, with a big volume of uh, big, uh, some popcorn. Maybe some every day we deliver vehicles to Athens to our to the warehouse uh, somewhere. We go and pick them up, yeah. and then we deliver them to the dealers ourselves. Mm -hmm. So we have vehicles under consignment. Now it's in that shop. We go, we pick it there put it in another shop or we sell it to other dealer. This daily are doing the job. Just a few hundred meters ahead, it's uh, the biggest dealer's shop. Okay. Okay, okay. He has uh, in Athens three shops, it's just one of them. Alright, so we're gonna go and see the biggest dealer in Athens in terms of motorcycle dealerships. It's a little bit up the road. <laughs> Cuckoo riding. <laughs> All right, so now he's gonna show us around Athens a little bit. The funny part is when you're right here like an absolute maniac like I do sometimes in the cities, it looks normal. I mean, look, he's just cruising and we're doing 73 through the city. <laughs> oh, I love it here. <gasps> Come on! When in Rome, do as the Romans, or when in Greece, do as the Greeks. Honestly, this feels like my kind of riding, my kind of people. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be such a fun day. And now, honestly, my... Well, the ST200 seems really powerful in, in my city, in Bucharest. Here, when ev where everybody rides like a maniac, it feels just good enough. I mean, just barely good enough. 
let's do a not very Greek style of yielding and now good thing is it's a Sunday and uh, the traffic is pretty clear here today but still there's some decent filtering going to happen here you know when I looked at the traffic from the sidewalk it seemed extremely crazy now riding in it when everybody rides at this speed and in this fashion it it actually feels quite safe to ride so fast I mean basically the speed limit in Athens is 50 kilometers an hour nobody gives a shit about the speed limit and uh, apparently nobody signals in any way shape or form and then lanes are basically just a suggestion <laughs> it's my kind my kind of riding god damn it <laughs> this is so bloody fun if you like to ride small scooters for traffic come to Athens bro come to Athens look at him he's riding on the wrong side of the road without a helmet around anything <laughs> oh boy oh you you guys here in Greece are mental honestly you guys are mental <laughs> and I love it all right so now we're gonna go see the pa the Panthenon on the Acropolis Hill should hang a left right here <laughs> real nice riding here <laughs> if you haven't tried it I highly recommend it you know the fun part about riding in Athens is that although you do ride fast and pretty aggressively uh, car drivers are used to the to this they're used to the way you ride they're used to you coming from behind from the sides and they basically stick in the middle of their lane and don't do anything weird so it's actually although it looks dangerous it's actually pretty goddamn safe <laughs> taking furniture upstairs <laughs> And that's how you take furniture upstairs. I think this driver is just waiting for us to pass him on the left. Or searching for a parking spot. But we are in a big group and we, we're not going to do everything a Greek person does. Or maybe just a few. Left here. Come on, get some! You know, I just love it. I just love seeing so many people on scooters, so many people on bikes. That's what people should be doing. If you want to help your city traffic, if you want to help congestion and alleviate congestion in your own city, get yourself on two wheels. You don't have to buy a big ass bike. Look at him. He basically is the owner of one of the most, one of the biggest motorcycle importers in Greece, one of the biggest motorcycle markets in Europe. And he rides a GTS Evo. You think he can't afford the, any bike he wants? basically any bike in the world he can afford it and yet he chooses just a 300 cc scooter around the city Who's place traffic uh-huh Now this is gonna be some interesting shit. He is taking it easy because we are in a group. Forward? Come on, let's do it like a Greek person. 
what is nice i'm actually on the same kind of scooter i have at home so i feel right at home on this platform <laughs> so actually here it's hard to find parking for your bike <laughs> Parking here. Um. All right, so now we're gonna make our way up to the Parthenon. It's only pedestrian street, so we couldn't ride up there. We're gonna go up see the Parthenon, and then we are gonna ride down to the port of Pireu, and uh, maybe grab something to eat on the seaside. We'll see what we can find there. Honestly, I'm more excited for riding through the city. I have been to Athens before, so I have seen the Parthenon, which is behind me up there. But we're gonna go see it again, because some of you may have not seen it. The ancient Greek theater. So, whoever wants to see where Pireus Port is, is there. Honestly, check Wikipedia for information on it. But check out this view. Check out this awesome view. Last bit of stairs. It is a bit of a climb, but hold on. Check Maybe I this can take out. You all for a photo here. Now, unfortunately, I'm no, in no way, shape, or form a history expert, so I can't give you any details on the Parthenon, but you can check them out on Wikipedia. But although I may not be an history expert, I can admire the grandeur of the structure and how old it actually is, plus the view from up top with the sea all the way down there and the Parthenon here it's pretty amazing how many tourists are here even though it's February so and it's actually about 18 degrees now in Athens it's a bit overcast as you can see but that hasn't stopped the tourists from visiting, but compared to the summer, it's actually a pretty, pretty chill right now. So if you want to see Athens and the Parthenon and all the historical buildings, uh, it would be a good suggestion come in January, February. It's not that cold and uh, it's not that crowded at the same time. And also the prices are a bit lower right now. But for now we're gonna finish seeing around the Parthenon and then we're gonna head see, all the way down there to the port of Pireu and probably grab a bite to eat. Okay. And we're kickstands up for a tour of the city. Uh, Troleu. So Mr. Gorgolis is taking us on a bit of a tour of the city. Show us the sights. I think we're gonna go to the Placa Square. I think we're gonna go to Placa Square and then to Pireu. I think I'm gonna try to get a ride in the Zontes M300. Although, little Dennis the Menace over here, the ST200 is, is what I'm used to and what I like riding. I'm so happy I got an ST200 as my ride around Athens for today. <laughs> oh, 
in Greek fashion. Boy, does riding here get the blood flow pumping. Gets the heart racing as you race through the cities of Athens. Old buildings, new buildings, traffic, chaos everywhere you look. Yep, old buildings. Thousands of years old. Like I said, I'm no historian and I'm no man of history. I do appreciate it. I know nothing about it to tell you. There are people much more educated on the matter that can tell you everything there is to know about all these old buildings. But what I am enjoying is the riding through the city. With my colleagues and Mr. Gorgolis up ahead showing us Athens as a local. On two wheels, punching it through traffic. Giving it the beans. Police here. I think this is some kind of palace. Yeah, some kind of... Oh, this is where the guard is. The Greek guard? I don't know. If you know what this is exactly and what are these guards, just put them down in the comments below if you are from Greece and watching this. Explain to us what this is. Ashamedly, I did not brush up on my Greek history before I came here. But what I am brushing up on is how to ride in Greece. Bit of space. <laughs> it's funny here, every single square centimeter you can get, if there's a gap that you could barely fit in, or maybe just go on the opposite side of the road, just go for it. <laughs> oh, organized chaos, this is what it is. It is. So he said we're gonna pass through the presidential and the governmental offices. Where we're gonna see some more of those guards. But like I said, if you're from Greece, explain down in the comments below exactly what these guards are because I'm real curious and I wanna hear it from you guys. And I think it's the changing of the guards. And here the guards. So, a bit of an explanation. These are the presidential guards and the parliament guards. The police are on Trans Alps. <laughs> Pretty funky uniforms. This is Prime Minister's house. The Prime Minister's house. And this is the President's house. The Presidential house. Okay. 
No, 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 no. Our, our, our are service. Ah, okay. okay. You choose where you are chosen by height to come here. Ah. I voluntarily said I want to come here. I want to come here. You're going to come by from here. Come here. Well, that was interesting, but now it's kickstands up and let's get going with the remainder of the tour through Athens. Now people come here to do some touristic guided tours, but we're getting ourselves a scooter tour from one of the locals and a pretty famous local that is. Let's see the back alleys and back streets of Athens. <laughs> back end stepped out a little bit there. This, this scooter is still on its original tires. I'm used to my Michelins. <laughs> I forgot how twitchy the rear end was on, on one of the STs on its stock CST tires <laughs> but since I'm used to the platform I can actually use the twitchiness now to have fun because it's dry outside and they still have decent amounts of grip so I can lean it and slide it around a little bit if it would have been a wet day I would not have been too happy about it come on Dennis punch it Little Dennis the Menace, the ST200 from Greece. Oh, we're punching it through a yellow. I guess not. <laughs> Another thing I find it's odd here in uh, Athens, a lot of people do not wear helmets. I mean, up ahead on that Vespa. Two people, nobody not wearing helmet. I mean, what's up with that? Come on, Greek people. What's up with not wearing helmets? But I guess everyone rides his own right, so. Oh, yeah. Left. Just look up ahead on the Vespa. No, both of them, they don't have a helmet. And up ahead, a guy wearing a helmet, but his lady friend on the back, no helmet whatsoever. Come on, guys. Don't you care about your woman? <laughs> Different cultures, I guess. Different cultures. That guy on a bicycle has a helmet, but people on motorcycles, no. I mean, bicycles are dangerous, but motorcycles... That Zontes looks real nice. 
Yeah, we're gonna get a ride on the Zontes. Definitely, I'm gonna try to get a ride in on the Zontes. Again, no helmets on an old rickety ass bike that somehow is still running. At least they have a, the rider has a beanie on, so I guess he's not a cold. I don't know how much protection that gives, but some, maybe a little, maybe keeps your head in one piece. <laughs> oh boy, I know, I probably get a lot of angry Greek people down in the comments about helmets wearing or not wearing helmets. Guys, to each his own, everybody rides as he wishes. I have nothing against anybody. It's just weird for me to see people without a helmet because no matter how much or less gear you, how me, no matter how much or little gear you have on in my country in Romania, a helmet everybody wears a helmet. Anything else everybody chooses, but a helmet is out of the question definitely everybody wears a helmet. But here even helmets are optional. What I do find it interesting is the respect that the drivers have for scooters or motorcycles and it's actually very easy as a driver to handle yourself uh, with so many bikes around you you just keep your lane and every single lane change you do you signal it and you do it slowly and that's it that's everything you have to do they just keep their lane and basically they'll they let us go around them whatever which way we want to no sudden movements and we get ourselves, we get around them without any kind of problem. All part of the city, small little streets. Now I dropped back a little bit so I could get all the guys in the shot. Is this a one-way street or is this a scooter only street? <laughs> no idea. I think it's a one-way street. That guy was on the wrong side. Come on. Come on, Dennis the Menace. So basically in our group we have Bossman himself on the GTS 300, a Zontes M310 scooter, a Jerex 125 liquid cooled, a Cruise Sim 300, older model, and this ST200, just like mine, from back home. In case you want to buy a car, anybody wants to buy a car? All right, this is going to be interesting. Let's get it up. Oh, slippery! <laughs> I think this is granite and it's wet and it's slippery. Easy on the throttle. Or maybe not so easy on the throttle. <laughs> I think this is only accessible to scooters. I don't think you can, will see a car through here or maybe it's not accessible at all. <laughs> and we're just going at it. I love it. Small little burnout through Athens, hooliganing through Athens, come on boys! Let her eat! I don't know why I'm signaling. <laughs> I don't think anybody cares for my signals. The Sim Romania team with Mr. Gorgolis himself leading the pack, bringing chaos through Athens, riding like hooligans, like maniacs. Actually joining in the chaos because the chaos was already here. We're just adding to it a bit of Romanian flavor. Once again, rider helmet, passenger doesn't. Maybe they want the rider to survive in case of a crash because passengers you can find just about everywhere. 
<laughs> I don't know you guys are you guys are mental over here but I do feel at home riding through Athens I would love to be able to open it up a little bit <laughs> rather has a helmet passenger doesn't give a shit <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's absolutely awesome. <laughs> and it's not like they ride slowly if they don't have a helmet. That's the funny part. They ride like maniacs even if they still don't have a, hel a helmet. Come on boy, get some. Visor down, kickstands up, right over road. Let's get moving. Down to the port of Pura, I think we can see it right up ahead. Come on, green light, come on, green light. Yeah, it's on the right side. Green light! Come on, little Dennis the Menace! Let's give Mr. Gorgoris a run for his money. <laughs> Being overtaken by his very own scooter. <laughs> Punching it through Athens. Let's go get some. Oh, I think our hotel is somewhere on the right side. I don't know if we already passed it. Let's get on the right and wait a little bit for my colleagues. I don't think he liked being passed by his own scooter. <laughs> ah, come on, I just want to get it out of my system, get it. Give it the beans a little bit. Now he's telling me to slow down, but he's also going 80, so... I guess 90 is not okay, 90 is not okay, but 80 is okay, although the speed limit is probably 50, but 80 is okay, 90 not so much, I don't know what's the cu what's customary here, <laughs> oh one of the funnest days riding. Now that dude's probably doing over a hundred. I guess maybe a hundred is okay for the locals. We're just visitors. Keep it down. You don't know how to ride in Athens. And I really do like it how people here do not muck about when riding. They get a move on. Even riders, even drivers, everybody gets a bloody move on. Nobody is sleeping at the wheel. Driving slowly. Everybody is going places here. And yet they have respect for each other on the road. This is amazing. I mean, although they ride and drive fast, I don't think anybody gives a shit for the speed limit whatsoever. I see people staying in their lane, in the middle of the lane and signaling every lane change. I mean, people with cars. Two-wheel vehicles, that's a different story. But basically, cars are signaling and us on two wheels, we just get around them as best as possible. They don't make any sudden movements and we try to get around them without uh, getting in their way. Just goes to show what happens when people 
I've been riding for such a long time and drivers are used to having a lot of motorcycles around them and riders are used to riding every day through city traffic. I'm sorry for all of you that just ride in the weekends, but I have to say it, you, I don't think you know how to properly ride in a city. If you just ride on weekends and outside the city, you don't know the etiquette of how to ride around cars without getting in their way and also drivers if they don't if they're not in a community with a lot of bikes they don't know how to handle themselves when they have a lot of bikes around them i mean look there see he was weaving through traffic the cars were staying still and he was not getting in the ways of the cars so they were just driving normally and he was just making his way around them without getting in their way without doing stupid stuff or some may consider it crisscrossing traffic like that being stupid but if the drivers know what to do and the riders know what to do it's perfectly safe i mean at at no point did i ever feel in danger here and i we are riding fast and the cars are driving fast but at no point did i did i ever feel that this is dangerous this is crazy this is maniac we're all just getting from A to B quickly, not mucking about. We're just gonna get from A to B as fast as possible without dying, <laughs> basically. And the seaside, check it out. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. And up ahead we see the masts of all the yachts from the port. Some of you Greek people sure have a lot of money. <laughs> Somebody wants to give me one of those yachts, I'll gladly accept it. Another thing you don't see here in Athens, see you do see a couple of bikes, big bikes like 600, 700, 1000 cc's. But that's like 5% of the total two-wheel vehicles on the road. Most of them are Cubs, 125 or 200cc Cubs, and scooters, 125, 200cc. And uh, these 300cc class scooters are actually pretty rare over here. I would say like 10% are mo big motorcycles, another 20-30% are big scooters. And everything else, 125s, 200, small cubs, small scooters, that's what everybody is riding. And they're not even all brand new. I mean, some of them look like they barely run anymore, but yet they still run and people still use them. Now that's being eco. Not throwing your bike away after a couple of years just because you don't like it anymore. Just ride the wheels off it if it's if it runs it's rideable use it get from a to b in a very efficient manner now that was a lovely ride through the city thank you athens thank you greece <laughs> absolutely awesome ride now let's see where the boss himself says to park. Okay, I think we're gonna park over here. Isn't this a gate? Oh. Who cares? Oh. I replied, you know, I don't, we don't do this. Uh, <laughs> in Romania, that's kind of a, who gives a shit? No, no, no. <laughs> that's where we're like, isn't this a game? Who gives a shit? I said no. <laughs> oh, I understand. <laughs> Ooh, 
that was a nice dinner. Real awesome food at this restaurant. I honestly do not name the, do not know the name of it, but that was an absolutely awesome food. It's nice that the restaurant is actually on the beach. So this is the beach and it goes straight into the restaurant. And uh, let's see if we can get it. Yep. Yep. That's the view you get from the table. That's the actual view. With the port behind me. Mountain islands and a beautiful, beautiful sunset. Now, on the way back, I'm gonna try to get my hands on the Zontes M310 and uh, see how it rides because I haven't ridden that one ever. So I'm gonna try to do that. Although I really do like riding the ST200 through Athens because I'm so used to the way the ST200 rides and uh, it's real nice to wring its neck out in this kind of traffic knowing the platform and being used to how it handles and how it rides and everything. But I, I wanna try that 300 from Zontes. 35 horsepower on a, such a small little scooter, it's gonna be interesting. But we'll wrap up here and we'll get back on the road.